Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cat's Cabin. You may have seen our top five fails in our video yesterday. Well, we've continued on with our number one fail, uh, which we've called Tractor versus Motorhome. Uh, now, this happened uh, just about three weeks ago, didn't it, So yeah. when we were at St Agnes Beacon, the Caravan and Motorhome Club site. And we were leaving there in beautiful sunshine, um, as opposed to the mist and rain when we arrived. And we thought, oh, well, it'll be, it'll be quite, quite okay. There's quite a few passing spaces, but we knew it was a very narrow lane. So uh, what happened then, Sue? We came face to face with a huge tractor which had about five cars behind <laughs> and we were towing yeah. a car. Yeah, I think some so. of the cars turned around and went away. Um, they knew that we were going to be a while. Um, but we literally came into the narrowest section of that lane and uh, a, car, a tractor came straight at us really. And uh, there was no damage done, there was no harm done, but there was about five or ten minutes of... Uh, stressful uh well stressful moments and it is our top fail we've not had it happen to us before no. and uh we with the car on the back as well um not able to reverse more than about a meter um and then you end up in the hedges so um here's some footage and i'll talk over the footage um that i took with the dash cam unfortunately we didn't take it uh, get the camera you can't, out. can't see what you were doing with the car though, no you can can't you? but uh maybe it, it was so much going on at the time we just didn't have a chance to get the camera out so let's have a look at that and uh i'll talk you through what happened well here we are leaving the st agnes beacon Caravan and Meadow Home Club site. Quite a tight exit here, turning left uh, to head back to the main road. Two cars already seen us and are waiting patiently. And a third, and some pedestrians there as well. Now we're going to bend round to the left here. Uh, I want to do blind bends, a little bit wider in that section. But as we move down, we're going downhill all the way here because uh, the beacon is at top of quite a long, gently sloping hill. And here's a sharp left with a car pulling over for us. Now I've slowed the video down slightly. On the right there is the lay-by that we used. And uh, this is where we met the big tractor. Now, I did try and move back a metre or so to see if I could reverse, but there's me indicating to the, the farmer that I have got a car on the back. Um, now I've removed the car and... Uh, We've uh, straightened up there, pulled forward a bit to straighten up, and uh, now reversing back onto this really quite bumpy lay-by, and uh, the farmer is moving towards me, as you can see. And I have to go forward again to get off the road. And the farmer was a bit surprised at me, I think, doing that, but he waved and thanked us for uh, being fairly efficient, really. We were only a few minutes getting the car off. Now, at this point, um, just paying attention to one or two of the cars, as you can see, there's a stream of cars uh, going along there in both directions. And uh, during this time, um, I'm moving the car back a little further uh, so to give me room to, uh, find, well, to find a, a fairly level spot, to be honest. Uh, it's very rutted, that lay-by. And meanwhile, more and more cars and pedestrians <laughs> jogging by. So um, in a short moment there, here goes a motorhome. As you can see, it's really tight uh, through that hedged uh, lane. Um, and during that time, I was moving the car. Now, I am reversing back here to try and find a spot where I can safely hitch up with um, some traction because this gravel is really quite loose and, uh, as I said, quite bumpy and rutted. So uh, I think that I'm in a fairly good position there. I've pulled forward again, as you can see, just to get the right position. Um, I'm not happy with my first spot. Now, uh, I usually get to a position where I can go forward with the car, you know, start the engine of the car and go forward. Uh, there's another car in the distance there reversing into a driveway. Um, so at this point, I'm now fixing the A-frame back onto the motorhome. You notice still more cars coming backwards and forwards and uh, this red one decided to park in front of us now uh, to begin with I didn't think that that was a problem um, 
And so I went and had a quick word with him and told him what I was doing once he'd parked up. And uh, he was quite happy to remain there until we got off the or out of the lay-by. And uh, I don't know what was going on up the hill there, but there was an awful lot of traffic going at this time. Um, so mid-morning. And uh, Sue's decided to go up the road to see if she can look round that bend and give me the way when it's all clear. And I'm trying to pull from that gravel lay by in onto the road surface and failing. It took me three or four attempts to rock the motorhome onto the road. Uh, I was losing traction with my uh, offside front wheel. It's a front wheel drive, of course. There we go. We're now on the road. And just as I managed to get on the road, down comes a cyclist. Would you believe it? Now, th at this point, Sue elected to get back in the van. Still quite narrow, but we've um, uh, made good progress here to this point where two cars go up a private drive and uh, now the road is uh, we're relaxing a little now the road's becoming a little wider and he thought oh okay let's go for it and oh no there's another and another uh, surely there can't be any more let's go for it okay and then uh, all of a sudden we find another one in a pretty narrow spot uh, Land Rover not too bad um, here we are this little van moves back for us a little bit, but uh, we really do have a tight job getting past this red one. And uh, fortunately, uh, we didn't do any damage on that hedge, quite a soft hedge. So uh, we're through. Now we're approaching the village of St. Agnes, and it's very important to make a right turn at the bottom here, not a left turn, because you go into the village around by the church, it is incredibly narrow and steep. So you don't want to go that way when you're towing. So we turn right here, and we end up uh, heading towards the main road, which takes you to Redruth and uh, Bodmin Truro. Now, the next thing we wanted to do was to pull over in a safe place, which we find a little further down the road. We made uh, several checks of the A-frame, took a few minutes just to catch breath and set on our, our way. Now, the lesson learnt, we think, in future is to drive out of a place like that solo and find a lay-by like this to hitch up a little further, even if we have to drive a couple of miles out of the site. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. It was quite traumatic at the time, but it all ended happily ever after. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.